Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel e-commerce project tutorial for beginner to advance. In this tutorial, we are going to change the login and register page design. So we have a default design for both login and register page and we are going to modify that. And in order to modify that, what we need to do first is we need to go to our resource, then views and in the views we have the auth folder and in the auth there you can see register.blade.php and let's say first of all we are to remove this laravel logo so if you want to remove this then you won't be able to find the logo in the register.red.page so for it you need to go to the layouts then in the layouts you will see case.red.php there you can see we have case. Dot, I mean it's guest layout so we need to go to guest.red.php and if you go there there you can see we have application logo inside the anchor tag so if we just remove this anchor tag from here then if we refresh there you can see the logo is gone so i'm not going to make a big changes here i'm just going to make some small changes uh for example i want to have this header section in the register place so for it we're just going to modify the code any little bit so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy everything uh, from the register.bread.php from here. So here you can see we have the input pin for name, email, phone number, address and password. So I'm going to copy everything. So control A, then control C. So it will copy, but I'm going to cut it from here. So control A, or you can just cut it like this as well. So after cutting, let me just open notepad here, paste the code. So right now our register.blade.php is empty. So if we now refresh, you will see nothing in the register.blade.php. So right now what we are going to do is I'm going to go to our home folder and in the home folder we have index.blade.php. So let's copy everything from here. Ctrl A, Ctrl C, then we'll paste it in the register.blade.php. So here we'll only keep the home.css home.header and uh, let's say also home.footer as well and we'll remove the status section and product section and also the contact section okay i don't think footer is necessary let's also remove this as well so we'll only keep the home.css and home.header if we now save it and if we now refresh here there you can see we are able to see that header part so right now what we do is that whatever code we just copy and paste it here in the notepad i'm just going to copy it from here again then let's go back to the code and we'll paste it after the head section so i'm just going to paste it here directly and then save it after that if we now refresh there you can see we have the input field so if you want to add more design for example if you want to use a template for the register design you can do it as well just make sure that uh here in the register.plate.php make sure that the route name is route uh, i mean in the form the route name is route register method is post and also the input field name is same otherwise you can add any design you want okay so x input level x takes input those are not necessary you can use regular input field as well so i think this is fine for the register base so let's just do the same thing for the login base as well so here you can see that flow is gone for the login base so let's just have the header section so for it again we'll go to our login.blade.php let me just cut everything from here and i will paste it in the notepad after that we'll do the same thing we'll go to our bold folder then index.blade.php control a control c we'll paste it in the login we'll remove the footer contact product and the data section and then we'll paste the login code after the header so we'll paste it save it then refresh and there you go we have the login page right now so let me just try to log in to the admin panel click on login and there you can see 
everything is working properly so this is how you can modify the design so this is a small tutorial i hope you like this tutorial if you have any question just let me know in the comment section and i hope to see you in the future tutorials